Combo Wami in the sound. It's Gray from Makazashi's Tea House over in Japan. How you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? I'm pretty good, thanks, because I've got the latest issue of Spawn. That's right, it came out today. What day is it? It's Wednesday, September the 7th. And this is issue 333. All the threes, a very lucky number. So yeah, look at this cover first of all. Let's just admire this Francesco Martina work of genius. I love it. I love the colours, like the limited palette. You've got the beautiful um, kind of neon light green there. Matches the, the font for his title. And seeing Spawn in like deadly, um, moody, black and white just looks so, so good. What I would give for an original art print of this. Anyway... How about this issue? Is it any good? Is it worth buying? Well, okay, I'm going to be honest with this. Um, it's all right. It's okay. I enjoyed it enough reading it, but I tell you, I'm getting a bit confused by the kind of multiple plot threads which are going on, and I'm losing track of the characters now, especially characters' names. But as you know, I'm still pretty new to Spawn. I've only been reading it since basically this time last year and I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying every issue, especially Gunslinger and King Spawn, as you know, if you watch my other reviews. But yeah, this is okay. You know, it's not a bad issue. It's just, it feels like the plot hasn't really moved on very far. But anyway, let me show you a little bit of the interior art. Where are we? Look at this. There's a great image here of Spawn taking on a werewolf. Yeah, pretty cool by the artist Carlo Barberi, who also does a variant cover for this issue, as far as I know. So, yeah, is it a recommend? Well, if you've been buying Spawn, of course you want to buy this, you want to keep up with it. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm... I'm kind of up and down with Spawn with the main title. The last few issues have really, really caught my eye. They've been really good. Like I felt like the storytelling was very strong. But this one feels a little bit like, um, you know, a step back. But anyway, we'll see. So what I'll do as usual, I'll give my short story summary, show you some of the art from inside. And at the end, I'll show the variant covers. So please keep watching. Here we go. After the big reveal on last issue, where Cogliostro revealed himself as Sin, a front-runner in the race for Hell's Throne. Talk and rumour have spread about the battle between Spawn and Sin. Sides are being drawn. Beings and creatures are choosing which one to serve. Many are swearing allegiance to Sin. We see this strange creature here, part crystal, part rock, calls himself Cadiclus. He says he has information about how Sin can return to Hell. There may be a way, a different way that avoids the dead zones. Elsewhere, a meeting's taking place between some of Spawn's allies. In the top panel, Jim. He doesn't trust Spawn, he doesn't trust Al Simmons having control of the dead zones. He's talking about ambushing Spawn at the base that very night. But Mark's not sure. Mark wants to slow things down. He wants another chance to talk with Al, try and convince him. But Jim's not having it. Jim's saying they've run out of time. We attack tonight! Mark convinces Jim to hold off the attack just for the night. He's got to try and talk Al Simmons down. Jim's not holding his breath though. Then we're hit by this shocking and gory page. Three different hellspawns that seem to be feasting on Cogliostro. Or so it appears. We see a strange looking being with a bald head and light blue eyes, asking if I've passed the test. No, says Sin, and snaps his head on the floor. Look at that. It seems that Sin's been looking for telepaths strong enough to break through Spawn's defences. Sin's talking with Blood, one of the Lord of the Vampires. We hear Sin threaten to destroy cities. Every day Spawn refuses to open the dead zones. Blood, the Vampire Lord is worried. This isn't what we agreed. You swore to leave Earth to my vampires. Their discussion is interrupted by Iris who brings in Cadiclus, the strange being we met at the beginning of the issue. Iris tells Sin to listen to his story. Maybe he has a plan that might work. He's talking about another route into hell, a way of avoiding the dead zones. We're told that in the caves of Omega Island, deep underground, there's a crack in the fabric of reality between this world and hell. Sin knows the place. He says that's where he became Sin when he transformed from Cogliostro. Cataclysm believes there's a way of getting through there. You can reverse the flow, go from Earth to Hell. Then we return to Haunt, Overtkill and the others. Overtkill's talking about training. He thinks Haunt isn't strong enough and he smacks him, just hits him in the face. All right, take it easy. 
Meanwhile, we see Jim. Is it Jim Downing? I'm not quite sure of his full name. But Jim seems to be having a secret meeting with a Hellspawn. Is that a Hellspawn there? The Hellspawn's worried about medieval spawn Mark. But Jim say, no, we have to keep Mark on our side. At last, we catch up with Spawn, who's hunting his old mentor. He's looking for Cogliostro, who's now Sin. We see him fighting what looks like a werewolf. He takes off the werewolf's head with his chains. But the fighting's taking a mounting toll on his body. He needs time to recover. He needs a rest. You, you're not supposed to be here. Nice to see you too, Al. It's Mark, otherwise known as Medieval Spawn. He's here to talk with Spawn, try and reason with him. I didn't come here to pick a fight. Mark is telling Spawn he's got to learn to trust people. Is that right? Then Spawn reveals that he's discovered Mark has actually melded with Medieval Spawn. When were you planning to tell me? You know? Okay, there's a few pages left, but I'm going to stop my story summary here. Okay, we get a preview of next issue's cover, which is, amazingly, another Francesco Martina cover. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Can't wait to see it. And then here's the variant cover, which is by, I think the main artist, Carlo Barberi. Awesome image of Spawn perched atop a cathedral with his cloak like blowing away in the distance and a nice shadow silhouette behind him. So that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of the issue. Please leave me a comment. Um, as I say, that left me a little bit confused, this issue, what's going on, and I'm, I'm forgetting people's names. So many Spawn titles, it's hard to keep track with what's going on. But anyway, um, as always, like thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video. This is Grey from Wakazashi's Tea House, signing off for the night. Matane. Wakizashi's Tea House. Please subscribe. <laughs>